So Latasha Scott of Escape is on an apology tour. She's apologizing to her sister, but also warning her sister, I also have receipts. She's apologizing to her mom. She's apologizing to Tiny. And she's apologizing to Candy. But one of the most shocking things, or maybe not so shocking things, is that she's admitting that she and Rocky Bivens are in an open relationship. Welcome back to the Campari Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So before we get into this Latasha Scott apology tour, I just want to preface this by saying something. We say this all the time here on the channel. It's also in our community guidelines when you comment on a video. Although we are not happy with the way that Latasha Scott may have treated her sister, stole her money, or the interviews that she has done, we are in no way encouraging you to bully, to make derogatory comments in Latasha Scott's comment section, videos, or whatever it may be. I just want to preface by saying that. I think our community generally knows that, and, and this is the other folks doing that on social media, but we are not encouraging this at all. What we are encouraging from Latasha is take some ownership here. So as you know, we've been covering this whole Latasha situation with her sister, Tamika Scott, who recently released her own receipts for the stolen money. She alleges that it was actually more than $30,000. She's alleging that her sister and her brother-in-law stole her intimate, her very intimate tape and try to blackmail her so that she would apologize and take back everything that she said about her sister. She also releases the documents and the, the endorsed checks that has Edward Bivens, Rocky Bivens' signature, allegedly. So after that video blew up, now her sister, Latasha Scott, after all these interviews where she insinuated that Tamika has mental issues, she's lied before. Remember what she said about Candy on the radio? Tamika addresses all of this in her video. Well, Latasha is now saying, first of all, she is getting emotional and crying. And I do believe those tears are real. But are they connected to the apology, to the people that she's directing it to? I don't know about that. But we have to keep in mind, this apology tour that she's on, which also includes Motown Gospel, Latasha has an album coming out a week from today. You're welcome, Latasha. So I believe this is damage control. This apology tour really should be called damage control. Because she is trying to clear up and make her name in the gospel world for people to gravitate towards this album and project and so that it doesn't go wood. Even, even when she... So first off, we'll start off with her apology to, to Tiny. She apologizes to Tiny. She, she says what we already have known of Tiny in this group. She's always been the one that's connected the group and Latasha when they've fallen out. But now she's even fallen out with Tiny. Tiny who I consider my friend. Um, I love your family. Eris, that's my baby. That's that's my heart, you know. Um, you no, know, you were the one to always try to bring things together for us. You know, you were the one to say, hey, ladies, let's get it together. And I kind of, you know, alienated myself from you because I was trying to figure out everything. I didn't know what was going on. You told me, girl, go do the gospel. You know, you should do the gospel. You gave me the motivation to do it. And once I stepped out to sing for God, it was like, I felt a way. Normally you, you're the type of person that'll say, hey girl, let's, I'm gonna talk to the girls. And I just, I just didn't know what to do. I, I felt like if I, if I'm honest and like, I'm excited, nobody's, nobody cares. So, you know, for that, I apologize to you. You know, we are like sisters and I didn't talk to my sister. Cause Tiny, see, Tiny sees what it is when it comes to Latasha, very much like how we see what it is now. So she apologizes to Tiny. Then she sort of apologizes to Candy. Candy, I'm sorry. I never wanted to do that. I never knew you were sad. Um, and I know what that sadness feels like. I really do. And that's never been my intention. I wanted to sing. I wanted to be, you know, us to be successful. I felt like music was gonna bring us together in love and understanding. I mean, I'm 17, 18 years old. What do I know? I'm sorry if I made you feel sad. 
Never, that was never my intention. Um, if I didn't see you or you felt like, girl, I'm right here. I'm sorry. She's like, if I made you, anytime someone says, if I made you feel, then I'm sorry. I, is that an apology? Because she says that, you know, if you look at the video that Candy did and Candy's, Candy is upset. Candy is sad that this is happening in the group because she grew up with these girls. Even Latasha, Candy has emotions for. But at the same time, Candy's just like, here she go again. Here she goes again. And I'm sure Candy probably watched this apology video and was just like, She said and done this before. This is strategic. It really is almost, okay, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to even use psychological terms, even though I do have a psychology degree. Well, speak on it. But me watching this video and listening, really paying attention and re-listening to some of the things that she's saying in the video, I feel like there's an ounce of genuine energy there. However, at the same time, I do feel like the timing of this after you've gone in interview after interview, and then when your sister finally drops the receipts, now all of a sudden, <laughs> oh, hey, Tasha. remember that little crying that you were doing in your video just last week? So she apologizes to Tiny, she apologizes to Kenny, and then she talks about her sister, Tamika. Through anything, but we have to communicate. We have to talk to one another because you can't get through anything without that. And I've been convicted already of being a thief and I don't even know what you're talking about. You put up something online, but Tamika, we both have receipts. We both have receipts. Let's just get through it. What is this? How do we maneuver? How do we get through this? Whatever it is, Tamika, we can resolve it. This is not nothing that we need to perpetuate and continue to move and make people feel away. This is us, we sisters. We've never not been able to talk about anything, ever. And I don't feel like because of what's going on in the, you know, in this media that we should use this platform for, to down one another or to try to make each other feel less than. That's not what this is. We're supposed to be family. And I want my family back. I don't care about nothing else. And I've always said that I don't care about what people say. It's about what I feel like with my sister, how she feels. And I apologize to you, Tamika, if I didn't hear you, if I didn't hear your voice, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to to make it. I'm trying to weather storms in my own personal life. It's like I'm not trying to negate how y'all's feelings are. It's like I have to still have peace within. I got to be able to understand how to move. I don't have all the answers. Being a big sister, you don't have all the answers. Sometimes I make mistakes. I'm human. But with us, we have to resolve this. This cannot dampen or, or drag us out or make us feel like we don't love each other. We love each other. The love is never going to go. You, love doesn't just, you can't throw love away. You just can't throw it out the window because something comes on, you know, and you have a, a hiccup in the road. That's not what this is. I love you with all of my heart. With all of my heart. And when I hear people say, your sister had your back, and we've had each other's backs. I stood up for you the same way you've st you stood up for me. And I, I would never, I won't apologize for that. That's what it is. That's what you're supposed to do. That's how we were raised. That bond can't be broken. Now, right now, we're going through these times. But at the end of the day, when I got my sister and I got my family, I still stand on that. That's that's. That's everything. It's that and then the business. And that's why y'all see me looking crazy on TV. Y'all don't know that that was the very first scene that my sister and I shot with my mother. No, it wasn't four or five um, scenes later. It was the very first scene. So I'm upset. I carry my feelings right here. Everybody that knows me, they know that. I can't, I'm not fake. I don't know what to do with that. That's, this is who I am. I can't hide from it. I can't shun it. I can't sit here and pretend that it ain't. This is who I am. So if y'all see me cry, y'all see me looking like this is because I'm in, I'm, I'm in my feelings. And I'm in my feelings when it come down to my family. And we're going to resolve this. I love my sister. And can't nobody else talk about it. Don't call me talking about my sister. Don't text me talking about my sister. Do not DM me talking about my sister. Because we're going through this. It's just the fact that we're in the public eye. So many people out there now, y'all going through stuff too. It's just the cameras are not in y'all's faces. The cameras are not capturing the fact that you guys are going through far worse than what we are. And I'm not pointing fingers. I'm saying, don't judge us. Pray for us. Be there for us. In a way to where God gets the glory. It's not even about us at the end of the day. 
It's about the love that we have and what we show people to get through. And we're going to get through this. I trust in God that we will. And we will. This is why it's sort of like, is it really an apology when you say you're dropping receipts, but I have receipts too? Is, is this you really taking ownership? She's still denying taking this money. Look, okay. But she says, Tamika, we need to take this off of social media. Yeah, because it's ruining your, your album. It's ruining the setup for your album. This, this reality show, which is getting a lot of views and a lot of content from it, is now hurting your chances at the solo project. She said it countless times. She's wanted the solo project for forever. She had one back in the day and that fell apart. Now she has another one and now it's falling apart. <laughs> Tasha. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. When we first started saying this, this is of course a Taylor Swift song, but when we said every time she walks into a room, this is what I hear in my head, it's becoming so true that this is who you are, Latasha. And it's sad, you will do anything for this solo career, even stomp on your own family. You also know that Latasha's mom, Mama Gloria, has been getting it on social media. So she makes a public apology to her mom, and I apologize to my mother as well because I am the fifth member. You have been scrutinized for being a mother. You were there when in this media, it, it hurts me. Nobody wants to see their mother dragged in the media because of what they see depicted on television, which, by the way, everything that y'all see is not what it seems. It is not what it seems. And my mother and my sister and I, we have had a very strong bond. And to see that tarnished in an industry that needs to see love and support, that bothers me. It angers me because that's not who we are. Painted in a, in a picture that it's not. That's not who we are. You know, I apologize to you, mom. Well, your mother is grown. Look, look, look. Your mother is grown. She decided to come on this show and show her you know what to the world, because we never knew about Mama Gloria until now. And now we're like, oh, poor Tamika. And you're upset that Tamika is getting the sympathy that she deserves. And, and so many of you have said in the comments that you are so triggered by watching this family and their drama and trauma play out because so many of you can relate to family. So many, so many of you called in and shared your own personal recent stories of family trauma stealing from you, using you, lying to you, being toxic towards you. She also makes an apology, and this is where she lost me. She makes an apology to Motown Gospel because of how this is affecting them. Of course, now the album is probably not going to do as well as it would have done if it didn't have all this drama. Her own sister was like, how are you selling a gospel album? Thief, stealing from the church, stealing from your sister, Stealing my identity, but what you won't do is steal my pride. But one of the other shocking things to me, and it shouldn't be shocking to me, look, in this day and age, there are plenty of people with open relationships. But I was shocked that she was, first of all, let's be honest, look, let's be honest. We're not judging, and religion should be open-minded, especially in this day and age, to open relationships, to gay, straight, all that stuff. But her opening up about her open relationship with Rocky Bivens, because you know Rocky's been accused of cheating on, on Latasha, of having a baby on Latasha. So now they're spinning this as we have an open relationship. Do we have problems? Are we perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware. I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about him. I see everything. As a wife, you know, you see everything. But with our relationship, you know, some people keep the fact that they have an open relationship quiet. They want to keep it private. But we have that. And for us to be judged or whatever by the things that people are saying, y'all keep judging, y'all keep living, y'all got marriages. Everybody ain't going to always be true. Things happen. At the end of the day, do I stand beside my husband? I know, y'all think I don't know. I know everything. Everything. I'm not oblivious to things. My husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That's my, that is my private business. 
But because I'm sharing my heart with y'all, I'm letting y'all know, please stop it. I can't even think about the things that are going on now because I'm being attacked everywhere I go. I'm being attacked. I go to the radio stations. I'm being attacked. I go to this place. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked because I said I wanted to do a gospel project, a gospel. I want to sing to the Lord and every other minute I'm being attacked. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. My sister, that's my family. My husband, that's my family. And I can't even get through the things that I got to get through because y'all attacking me. How do y'all think that, how do y'all even know that I'm strong enough to take all of the stuff that I'm taking? I feel like I'm by myself. That I am alone and nobody wants to feel like that. Nobody. I just wanted to sing. So I know what's going on. I'm not I'm I'm not just this doting wife just sitting at home not knowing what's going on and he's he's bamboozling me. I don't know. I still believe that you are blindsided by some of what's been playing out. Because now you're talking about this open relationship, but when he was talking to Tasha K, it was a humana 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 humana. And you know what my mother says? <laughs> you know what my mother says? If you lie, you steal, if you steal, you kill. So I can't you guys have no credibility. No credibility. Tamika, do they have an open relationship? Do you know? Candy, anyone? And there's nothing wrong with it. If that's what you choose for your relationship, I just find it interesting that now this is what, is what you're saying. Almost to, to sort of counteract, oh, I'm not the stupid wife sitting at home and he's cheating on me, which is very possible. Which is very possible that that's not the truth and that you guys are in an open relationship. But the timeliness of what you're saying right now, first of all, I'm not sure how that's going to work with the black Christian um, people that were going to support this album, despite everything that was happening. Because I think you just lost another sector of folks. Let's be honest. It's 2023, and I'm, I have an open mind. But let's talk about those in... Okay. We could talk about it in the comments section. I, I could go on and on and on and on. But Latasha Scott... Just in time, a week before her de her new debut solo album is coming out, she's on an apology tour. Probably because she's scared more receipts might come out. Unique question. Since this is an open relationship, did you know it was an open relationship? I just feel as if she knew it was an open relationship, she would have said that in her interview. Well, he tells me that it's an open relationship. Guys, what do you believe? Do you think it's damage control or do you believe that Latasha Scott is genuinely, quote, sorry? Because the apologies weren't apologizing for me, especially to her, her band members and her sister. I want to know your reaction to this video footage. I want to know your reaction to all of it. Let's continue this conversation in the comments section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter. I got the fuse. You make a fire. I'll ask you. Follow my lead.